Prime time on the Big Ten stage. And I tell you what, Rutgers, they're going to hit the field with some juice. With Greg Seattle at the head coach, they're going to come out the field, onto the field with like their hair is on fire. It's all us. This is all we got. It's all we need. All we got is all we need. We all in. Stop all in. Count on three. One, two, three. If Michigan can't match that energy, they're in for a long day to day against Rutgers. Even if they could match the energy, they would find out what others have. It's going to be a long day when you face the Scarlet Knights. And he's going nowhere. The Rutgers defense stacks him up at the line of scrimmage. Cornelius Johnson fumbled the football. Brendan White stripped it free. That's the 10th force turnover this year by Rutgers. The first half belonged to the Rutgers defense. They dominated the line of scrimmage and smothered the Wolverines regularly. And it didn't matter the down or the distance. Rutgers has held here on fourth and one. You gotta love everything about it. Defense comes out, puts a stop on fourth down, sends a message to the Michigan Wolverines. And what does the offense do? Just comes out and throws Crookshanks. Steps up, airing it out. Deep downfield for Crookshank. And he's got it at the 15-yard line. It's gonna be Rutgers in the red zone, baby. Running right, off tackle right, pushing. Go line, touchdown. Here comes the blitz. Milton is sacked on the blitz. On film, Michigan had seen Rutgers' overall improvement, but it's difficult to see heart, soul, and desire on a computer screen. But it's certainly easy to feel it on the field. The Wolverines seemed powerless to battle the wave of Scarlet Knight momentum that encompassed most of the first half. Aaron Crookshank takes the end around. Here's a reverse to Shomin Jones. He's pointing blockers in the direction. He cuts in the corner. Jones to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. You never know what you're going to face when you go up against Sean Gleason as offensive coordinator and head coach Greg Schiano. Flying and pushing, going right to the goal line. He's in. That's a Rutgers touchdown. They know it's coming, but they can't stop it. And that's a compliment to players executing well. One thing Michigan knew was coming, a relentless pass rush. Monikowski's got him again! He came right up the gut and drilled him. Well, who will run a quarterback draw up the middle? 40, 50, and more! He's got the first down! How about that call from Sean Gleason? Was this the Kansas City Chiefs I'm watching or what? With all this motion in the back. <laughs> good snap, good spot. End over end and perfect. 17 to nothing, Rutgers on top. To call this game a battle would be an understatement. And the Wolverines were not ready to roll over. When they returned the second half kick for a touchdown, it set things up for an instant classic. It also showed the Rutgers resolve as they refused to be stunned by the Michigan quick strike. And they went back to chopping, taking 61 seconds to answer. Lofting it downfield, he's got Milton at the 35 and say goodbye. Rutgers answers the kickoff return with a long bomb to Bo Melton. And it is big plays of plenty to start the second half. McNamara to throw, the little pop pass is caught. Touchdown, Michigan back to within one score on the road. Noah steps up, rolls right. Pressure still coming, trying to find something. Throws downfield, and it's caught at the 42 of Michigan. What a play by Shamin Jones to come back and catch the football. Ambrosio is hit tonight from 38. He just hit from 42. Straight up the turnpike. The two sides traded blows like heavyweight fighters, each looking for the other to go down or at least flinch. But it wasn't happening. They answered each other with one punch after another. Finally, the Scarlet Knights found themselves down on the mat. They had less than a minute to find a way to get to their feet one more time. 34 seconds left. The game on the line with fourth and nine. Takes the snap, drops the throw, three-man rush. Pressure coming, Vedral throwing, end zone, and it's caught! Oh. Touchdown! Aaron Crookshank brings Rutgers to within two. Rutgers has to go for two to try to tie this game up. The myriad of interesting trick plays and formations and misdirections to tie the game. Quarterback draw, Federal running, hit, driving, in! Oh We've got a tie God. ball game! Unbelievable! How about the toughness, just the will? He was dead to rights at about the three-yard line and carried defenders all the way down to score the 
touchdown. We're headed to overtime here in Piscataway. So Greg Schiano was wondering, hey, you know, what's our culture, right? We, we chopped, we kept coming back, you know, we kept fighting. And it's no good, he missed it wide oh. to the right. This team embodies their head coach. Good snap, good spot, kick on its way, end over end, oh. and it is no good. And we are headed to a second overtime. You see coach talking to him on the sideline right now. You know, it's not, not yelling, not screaming, just talking. All game long, every single situation, Greg Shiano is coaching his guys up. He'll roll out to the right. Here's a throwback to the left. It is caught. It is Giovanni Haskins to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and a oh, touchdown! Yeah, baby! What? That's what Sean Gleason wanted into the end zone on the first play. Good Lord have mercy. Nobody saw that coming. I know I didn't. Through four quarters, three overtimes, a change at quarterback, and more than a handful of bruises, Michigan learned that this Rutgers team has improved, not just from last year, but from last month. The Scarlet Knights fell short in the third overtime, but they continue driving each other and chopping side by side with a coaching staff that believes in the program and believes in them.